A close Dallas sailing community is mourning the loss of a longtime member. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natalie Solis, in for Clarice Tinsley. First on Fox 4 News at 5:30, the body of a veteran sailor missing on White Rock Lake was recovered nearly 24 hours after his boat capsized. Now, friends say Conrad Calicoat had 40 years of sailing experience. A woman he was sailing with survived and helped dive teams locate his body. 80-year-old Conrad Calicoat, regarded as one of the most experienced in the small, tight-knit Dallas sailing community, the last person they'd imagine being the focus of search crews after a boating accident Sunday. Sky four over the lake Monday as divers executed a grid search. Right now, our members are really in shock and grief. The Commodore of the White Rock Boat Club says Calico was out on the water in a 19-foot flying Scott like this one with Lisa Leonard in pink shorts helping search crews. Calico was certifying Leonard also an experienced sailor as a new member when a sudden strong gust of wind capsized their boat. Witnesses say he was not wearing a life vest, but appeared to be fine, treading water and talking, even putting personal belongings inside the overturned boat. Nearby boaters rushed to help. The chase boat then approached him to pick him up, and as they got quite close to him, he suddenly quit talking and treading water and sunk under. Mm -hmm. uh, the chase boat sailors said that they did go over to try to catch him mm -hmm. and were unable to get him before he, they lost him. As the hours dragged on, Calicoat's friends looked on with little hope until their worst fear was confirmed. It's going to be a huge void for the boat club. Um, Conrad was there every day. Everyone knew him. All of us relied on him for advice and help. Well, friends wonder if Calicoat had some kind of medical episode while he was treading water that caused him to suddenly go under. The medical examiner will determine the exact cause of death. Other sailors hope it's a reminder of the importance of wearing a life vest.